This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, I'll start from verse 66. And here's what it says. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt, ha thou shalt fear day and night, and thou shalt have no assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even. And at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning. For the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. Kal halal yahawa ba'asham yawashai, ba'asham rakakodash. I will honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the brethren across the four corners of the earth, pushing and teaching the truth. Now the name of this lesson, going on be, and thy life shall hang in doubt, but this is for sure. Right? Now, it's evident that none of us don't know if we're going to make it through the night, if we're going to make it through the morning, this is a fact that we know we're not going on we're not sure about this you know and from the person where the beloved brother going to the better place you know he up in the spiritual realm the fourth dimension and he you know he he praying for we to have the strength to continue but what is for certain why is for certain? Let me go to the book of Luke, chapter 1 and 68. And we will see what is for certain. Here where it says here. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and anybody who associated with them in any form or fashion, bloodline related right descendants of the fathers a man seed seed these make up the children of israel blessed be the lord god of israel for he had visited and redeemed his people and had raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant david as he speak <coughs> salakia as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from out of the hand of all them that hate us, to perform the mercies promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham. This is for sure. The Mosai made an oath with our fathers and the Mosai is a man that he would not lie. <clears throat> he said that in the book of Second Peter, we will get a script, we will get a precept, right? This is the book of Second Peter, chapter three. I'll start from verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, Lord, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And he brought that pass away. He came to repentance before the Most High take His spirit, so He, for surety. Finish the course. But the point is, the Mosa is not slack concerning his promise, and the Mosa promises us, right? The Mosa promises us that to, since the days of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that what he would raise up a horn of salvation, which is Yahushai, and he would come and deliver us out of this, 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 this crooked life we live in, that we live. And how hangs in doubt. But these things we certain. We certain that the Lord going and do this too. This is the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 21. I'll start from verse 4. As a matter of fact, I'll start from verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. <laughs> just, just saying these words for somebody who in the spirit would know this these things would have meaning boy these things would have meaning and i saw a new heaven and a new earth 
just that says a lot for somebody who in the correct spirit a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth will pass away and there was no more sea and I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from Yahweh Basham Yahweh out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband and that is what that is the elect that is the elect coming down in the chariot and all the glory of Israel verse 3 and I heard a voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men. That is the elect. Right? And he will and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And God shall be with them and, and be their God. This is the point here. And God, Yahweh Power, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Right now, brothers had tears in their eyes for about, for about a minute. You know, families of the brother, Yahweh, had tears in their eyes. But what? Yahweh Power will wipe away all tears from in their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Nobody will never have to experience a brother or a loved one dying again. Neither sorrows, neither crying. You know, nobody will have to be sorrowful and crying. You know, one day if tomorrow you're going and have mercy, make it through the day. You won't have to be going through them thing anymore in the kingdom of heaven. Neither shall there be any more pain. It are people, brothers, living with pains and illnesses of different sorts. You know, loved ones living with pains and illnesses. And the car take it, the holding on by the tread, by the mercies of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the holding on. You know, there shall be no more pain, the scripture said, for the former things are passed away. Verse 5, and he that sat on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. This is beautiful. This what I read in here is absolutely beautiful. And he said, I make all things, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these words are faithful, are true and faithful. You know? This is this this is this is this is beautiful. This is what we know for certain. That the Lord have a plan for us. The Lord have have, have a plan to redeem us. The brother going home, yes. But we still here fighting the fight. And we have to fight it. Circumspect. We have to live every day because we don't know how we're going and go. Or when the Most High is going to be ready for us. So we have to live every day in the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Not in the spirit of revelry. Not in the spirit of, 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 of. Anyhow, a matter of fact, let me read Matthew chapter 5. Right? We are going through from the top. Right? Matthew chapter 5, this is the spirit we have to be in right now, knowing, knowing nothing but what we ought to do, so which is serve the Most High. And seeing the multitude, he went up unto the mountain, and when he was set, when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and, his, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The brother was very poor in spirit. The brother was humble. You know? Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Right now we mourn and every time when we, we do our lesson, every time when we go out on the streets, every time when we wake up in this place, we mourn and because why? We want to go home. We want New Jerusalem to be established. We don't want to be suffering and going through any type of distress. We have loved ones coming up. You know? Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. The brother was a meek brother. Most I show him mercy. You know? You had to strive to be meek. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. That is the elect. Going and come back and inherit this place. So all alongside with the rest of the nation. And the, all the other Israelites. Verse 6. Blessed are they. Which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. These are the mannerisms 
that we should have. We go reading on verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart. And what are I talking about? Somebody who does keep the spirit pure. Right? To the best of the ability. For they shall see our power. Blessed are the and that, that see our power talking about. The most I will hold them and they will see the chariots and them come in, in this flesh and be changed. What the scripture is in Corinthians. I tell you this. Right? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Hey, Kalalalia Hababasham Yawashai. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of Yahweh Power Yasharala. We making peace on earth right now. We the only people rooting for peace. Everybody just want to go in the corner and be comfortable. Nobody don't want nobody ain't thinking about everybody else. Nobody ain't thinking about the other people of the nation. How much of them doing that? Everybody just want to go in a corner and be peaceful and then see in the world. The system, the air, the food polluted. You have no, no, you have no getting around it. The only choice is to rise up and work towards contributing to bringing a better living system. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And these days, these times come in. But what? Blessed is you. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of things. You know, but the point is, all those from verse, from verse 3 go all the way down to 10 gives you a clear mannerism. How it should be. You know? Humble and meek. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Basham Yahushai watching me. He didn't forsake me. He made a oath. He made a promise to us. And he is not slack concerning his promise. So hey, this is the prayer of my heart. Oli Akyam. You know, anybody listening. Shalom. Mawat Lababal. Pom Yasharala. This is the brother Tazwa from the that GMS camp. Until next time, I hope this was edificational. Shalom.